We are diving into a new adventure in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. It's not a capital, but it's one of the liveliest and most thrilling cities in Vietnam. From wild street driving to a beautiful city center and the amazing nightlife. Come along as we discover this awesome city together. And I think we will start right at the top. Behind us, you can see one of the tallest buildings, maybe even the tallest building in Vietnam called Landmark 81. And the best part is you can go up there and see the whole city. So I think let's start off. Our ticket included two original pictures and a visit to three building floors. Let's head to the 79th floor and see how Ho Chi Minh City looks like. So we just had our pictures taken. That was super awkward. You still don't see them. We have to go up to actually get the pictures. Let's see how the elevator looks. I hope they have some kind of screens or something like in the Dubai. There's only B1, 1, 3, 65, 79, 80, and 81. So not that many options to click. And we have this screen. We live in, I think, this building right now. We soon will be upstairs. Looks pretty nice. We have like this 360 deck and view. And actually this building is residential, hotel, and it has a shopping mall yeah. and even ice rink. So they have lots of things you can do here. And nice also here on 79th floor, they have a really nice restaurant where you can drink coffee or eat something. Sadly, our ticket doesn't include any drinks, so we'll probably skip this one. So let's go one floor up. And actually the view, guys, it's really worth it. I really recommend coming here because you can see like whole 360 panoramic like landscape. And almost no tourists which is completely different if you go like to Malaysia or Dubai, to all these towers. And this place actually reminds me of Succession series. So look at this beautiful view. It's like my heaven. On the floor 81, they have VR experience, which is also included in the price. You can see it behind us. Now we'll go and try it out. Also with the entrance ticket, you get two free pictures with a landmark 81 in the background. The pictures look a bit 2000-ish. <laughs> and also you get a QR code in the corner, so you get a digital picture. I think it's a cool bonus. So the price for whole experience is $17, so I think this price is really a good deal. And now let's go down and explore the city. The best way to explore the city and visit the most famous places is actually by taking a bus tour. You can see it right behind us. Yeah, and this bus costs only $12 per person, which is, I think, a really great deal. To obtain a physical ticket, you need to come to the Opera House destination. Buses come and go every 30 minutes, so you don't need to worry about being late. It will take you to the 11 most famous locations in Ho Chi Minh City, and you can hop in and hop out at any time, yeah. and it's all included in one price. Yeah, I think we're gonna go inside and show you what you get for $12. While driving with the bus, we were able to see most of the main streets in the city center. Additionally, since the bus had two floors and no roof, we could also explore some restaurants, coffee shops, and shopping places for later. We just left the bus store and we got a little bit hungry, but for us that's not a problem because Sigan City has a lot of delicious street food. Behind us you can see one of these spots that sell bun mi sandwiches, which are like these traditional Vietnamese sandwiches. Let's get inside and try them. In Saigon, you can find various types of food from delicious local cuisine to Western food places. However, we highly recommend trying Vietnamese traditional food because it's super tasty and affordable. Additionally, Saigon boasts these interesting buildings that I have never seen anywhere else in the world. Sadly, it started to rain, but we are in the Ho Chi Minh City city center and we are kind of in the main square, but it's kind of empty right now because of the rain. And next to us, we have a really exciting building. It's full of restaurants, cafes, bars, and I think it's called uh, apartment restaurant or apartment cafe. So they look really cool, really flashy, lots of lights. And now we're gonna try to go inside. First of all, we need to find the entrance and maybe grab some quick snack or a drink. So follow us. So we climbed a couple of floors and we made it to some random cafe, but it looks really nice inside. Yeah, it has like all these Halloween decorations. It has some cold tea drinks and a pretty nice view. I think it's really worth it. The prices are almost the same as in any bar. And you have this really beautiful view of the city in this unique place. 
climb upstairs and you will find loads of stuff. Cool cafes, yummy sushi, tasty steaks and even places for a relaxing massage. So if you're ever in Ho Chi Minh City and feeling hungry or thirsty, this city has everything you need. This city is also known for wild nightlife and if you're coming to Ho Chi Minh City, you definitely should come to see where we're in a walking street. When night falls, the streets get wild. There is a ton of stuff going on, from chill bars to pumping nightclubs, live music spots, cozy lounges, and even yummy street food places. Plus, you will spot plenty of vendors and locals doing cool fire shows along the street. If you want to spend a nice evening with your friends, come here. So, I finally got my first beer. I picked the Vietnamese beer, which is super, super cheap. I think it's only $18 which is incredibly cheap. And we are here so early. People are still just coming in. So we're waiting for more people to join the company, join the party. Yeah, it's pretty empty right now. So thank you guys for joining us on our Ho Chi Minh City journey. And right now we are going for a night out. Yeah, more beers, more drinks. See you on the next one, subscribe. Okay.